Hey, it's Rachel Covalla with Outcoast TV. Today, I'm joining the Garcia Petty family in downtown Tampa Bay, although I like to refer to it as Tampa Gay. We're checking out all the family fun things to do, Bush Gardens, Zoo Tampa, the Florida Aquarium, and the Glacier Children's Museum. We're also staying at the Aloft Hotel right on the riverfront. It's convenient and an easy taxi ride everywhere along the bay. Join me as I go out on the coast with the Garcia Petty family in Tampa Bay. So we live in Wesley Chapel. Uh, we just moved down a little over a year or so ago. We haven't really had the opportunity to spend a lot of time in downtown Tampa and really explore what's there for the kids. Uh, so this was a great opportunity for us to get down, see some of the sites, uh, explore the aquarium, uh, spend some time on the water taxi, go to the Children's Museum. Uh, it was really just a good opportunity for us to, to get out and spend some time with the kids uh, in the area. I think at Zoo Tampa, the kids really enjoyed the, I think it's the orangutans that were being really loud and vocal that day. As we were walking by or going to a different exhibit, they kept wanting to go back to that one just because it, the orangutans were being very interactive with everyone around and I think the kids really love that part and wanted to go keep seeing them all day long. kids really love animals and I think they love just being able to see the animals and experience um, what the animals are doing and what they're doing. Being able to go out to the zoo and see those things and walk around with them um, as a family unit is something that we really strive to do as often as we can and so having that opportunity to go to the Tampa Zoo was great for us. Uh, so our time at Bush Gardens, we really enjoyed. Um, I think probably the favorite part was uh, the safari. Uh, the kids really enjoyed getting to feed the giraffes. We did have some, some fun uh, on some of the roller coasters and that type of thing. Uh, once we got them to kind of open up and, and be a little accepting, so. They really enjoyed uh, Cobra's Curse. I think this is the one that we got to ride mostly as a family. And so um, we did it actually back to back twice because the first time they experienced it and they were like, okay, this is kind of cool. Let's go do it again. We got to do it as a family and they were really excited about it and keep talking about it today. <laughs> you know, they had to face some fears there, but that was definitely a fun time. Beyond that, I think just uh, the interaction of the animals and so forth. So our kids love animals, uh, so they really had a good time uh, getting to, to see the exhibits and interact with them. We really enjoyed the Florida Aquarium as well. I think probably the thing that the kids enjoyed most were the, the penguin exhibit. So I know that's relatively new and something that they really enjoyed experiencing as well. The children love um, the interactive exhibits, especially at the aquarium, where they get to touch the stingrays or get to touch the jellyfish or touch some of the starfish um, with their hands. And so they, even afterwards, were touching their hands and talking about the texture of every animal. I enjoyed the jungle gym outside. Um, there was nobody else there, and so we got to really interact as a family out in the jungle gym and climb and, 
even Richard and I got to climb up with them on the uh, jungle gym, and so they like that. So we were able to take the water taxi from the aquarium uh, up to the Children's Museum to enjoy that. So um, it's just a great experience to, to be able to stop at multiple things along the way. So at the Children's Museum, we're really looking forward to that. Uh, it gave the kids uh, an opportunity to kind of have some hands-on time and experience some of the exhibits there. Um, and really surprised that even the 14-year-old was in and interacting with the younger ones and being a part. Uh, I think probably our favorite part was when they were able to get up on the little stage area and act out a play, and Augie even got up and acted with them. So uh, it was really a fun and, and interesting experience. The night we spent at the Aloft Hotel was really awesome. Um, our room was so big, uh, which is great for a family of our size. So um, had two beds, had a separate living area, um, so really kind of fit the family well. Um, also the pool area was great, it over with the river. The kids had a great time out in the pool. Uh, could hang out and play some billiards, which we don't really get to do a lot with our kids, but uh, that was a fun experience as well. So really appreciate and enjoy the time that we were able to spend there. Being a diverse family as we are, you know, they like being able to try different types of foods. I think that's what Tampa provides for us and provides for us as a huge family with different tastes. So Bush Garden had its options and the zoo had its options and then being able to go to the Urban Cantina for dinner one night was great because the kids got to have the chips and salsa there and really just enjoy our culture on my side, which is what we do all the time. As we travel um, as a, a mixed race uh, couple with mixed race children, we always have to think about what is available to them and to us as a family and are our children going to feel comfortable? Are we going to feel comfortable? Um, I think that's one thing that Tampa really provides for us is it is diverse, right? And I think you don't expect that. I think that's what we got to see even as our kids got to see and we got to be a family, which is what we really like doing. We just want to thank Outcoast, visit Tampa Bay and um, all of the organizations that hosted us. Uh, we had a great time and really enjoyed the couple of days that we were able to spend with our family.